Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods 9 guys, we got some fun stuff going on today, but first, we are going to be putting a roof on here, um, yeah, so we're actually going to be trying to utilize the builder here, um, yeah, so I want to go ahead and use this, I, I, I built this off camera, well technically I built it on camera and everything got corrupted, but I built it off camera, uh, and it's just a 7x7 cube of all of the uh, ME controllers and we'll be doing something cool with that later on that's where the power is coming in uh, but yeah we'll be doing something later on that's really cool but for now we are going to be building a top dome hollow correct five by five and so if we do preview good okay so previews off so we want this to be 31 by 31 by 31 and so if we do a preview that should go out hmm almost okay it's not it's not working over there oh we got to adjust it okay so let it update so it's not centered quite okay so i guess let's do zero zero and then we'll do maybe 17 blocks up see where the preview goes Okay, that's going to work. Perfect. Um, yep, so that goes there. That goes there. Good. Okay, so the preview just needs to come down a bit. So let's say we go 14. We try the preview. Okay, got to come down. Three more. Zero. Zero. Twelve. Okay, so it's got to be 11. That's it. That's what we're going to roll with. Okay. Okay, just gonna check it on all sides. I don't think I built this properly. <laughs> That's fine. We'll make we'll make it look decent. Okay. So now the support comes off, and we gotta smelt up a bunch of glass, like so. Uh, oh, wait, oh, hang on a second. Where did my furnaces go? Okay, so I've got a diamond, uh, oak diamond chest on top here for the, the items, obviously. Uh, we're gonna set this flux point to our network, and that is filling up there real good. I've got these furnaces over here giving us a bunch of glass, so hopefully that's a decent enough amount. Um, let's do one more quick preview. Yeah, it looks interesting. Let's double check it. Nope, that's just, this is why we checked it. So it's got to be zero here, zero here, and 11. And it's hollow. We should be able to do it. Yep. Is it done? No. Okay. Now it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. So we're going to need a little bit more blocks for that. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the rest of my sand over here. It's going through this stuff pretty quick. It's looking nice. I figure we'll cap it off. Again, we're gonna get these blocks back, so that's not the end of the world. Okay, I guess I gotta let more of this stuff process up before I can uh, finish building it. Is that that goes through it pretty quick? <laughs> okay, so this should be the final amount, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, good. Okay, so um, yeah, the dome, the dome's on. That was super super simple <laughs> pretty good cool okay so all i gotta do now is just uh mine over here this is what i've been doing and then i kind of repurposed the glass that was going at the bottom so that's why we are already done but now we get to go around the outside and place a bunch of uh spruce slabs so that's pretty cool uh, as long as it's disconnected from the dome we can just vein mine it and boom there we go so the dome is on. Uh, what we can actually do here is say, hey, we're going to mine a small tunnel, mine this, and then we're back to that. And we can mine this block. I can fly into this one and we can replace it with a piece of glass. And then over here, we can do the same, place with a piece of glass. And the dome is now completely on. Yes. Um. Yeah, that looks that looks cool. Okay, I was, I was just checking to make sure it lined up with the the ceiling properly. Um, 
But yeah, let's let's go look from outside. Dang, that looks cool. I like how this turned out. The dome was definitely the way to go. Okay, let's get the uh, the spruce spruce wood tr uh, slab trim around. The sides are going to be a little weird. We'll see. We'll have to see about making that work, or I might just leave it. Um, but yeah, spruce spruce slabs. This is going to seal it in. So um, yeah, we're at the end. Oh no, we can go here. Okay, so I've got I've got slabs on most of these, and this should just kind of tie it off, make it look decent. And then what we're gonna do is fill in the crack here, like the little air gaps, with spruce wood slabs, just like so. Oh yeah, I think. Yep, just this corner here. And now the base is completely sealed, which is great. And I may turn this opening here. I may open this bad boy up so that we could fly in it. And I think I'm gonna make these slabs. Okay, so now we've got some easy access to get in here which is exactly what we wanted and so that will be probably the main way i get out and in here from now on yeah i think it looks looks really good the dome adds so much ambiance to it and they'll probably hide some lights up there just so it kind of lights up at night and i may end up moving this guy up a couple blocks actually but yeah so my plan is to actually run the cables down on each side here I think that's gonna look really cool. And then we can have chain blocks holding this up to to here. So yeah, I think we're we're looking really good. I think it looks amazing. So yeah, just the uh, the builder with a shape card, and you can make a whole bunch of different um, different shapes. So yeah, very good. Okay, so now that we've got the brain of our network up here with a roof on uh, i don't know if i showed you guys but i went ahead and put these little support supports here i feel like it makes it seem more realistic that it's uh, hanging from up here but uh anyway yeah so we're going to be putting a bunch of molecular assemblers and pattern providers in there um so i went ahead we got a couple of these guys created um i need we're going to look, work on automating this here really soon all of the inscribers so we don't have to worry about it but yeah um so now we're working on the logic circuits because we need quite a few of them for these these guys here the formation cores and the annihilation cores so we'll let those process up real quick okay so we got a full stack of these guys so let's go ahead and make a few actually we want oh what are we missing bluex dust okay so uh, a couple Geez, let's say like two days ago, I set up some of these Fluix seeds. And we also got uh, sort of our just normal, normal nether quartz seeds there as well. So those are extremely handy to have. So let's see here. Uses, yeah, we can turn these straight into Fluix dust, which is why I made them. Good. So back here, we want a stack of these guys. And then here... We need some other quartz. All right, so now we can finish up um, this stack. Perfect. So we have a stack of each of these. Um, yeah, so that's how it's gonna work. So let's get some some wood, I guess. Okay, we're gonna make a stack of the ME pattern providers, and then I will make a stack of the molecular assembler. So we're gonna need we're gonna need another 64 of the logic processors here. Get some more silicone going and some more redstone. Cool. 
All right, so now we can go ahead and make a stack of these guys as well. Perfect. Um, yeah, here's the other one. Cool. So now we're going to go ahead and put them all in here. Um, I think it should look really good. I've seen it look good. So we're totally copying the, the design that Cowsense uh, helped uh, G-Man out with. So that's what we're going to do. So it's essentially just a repeating pattern the whole way through. Like so. Yes. We're doing great, everybody. And now we just continue this all the way up. Okay, so the cube is complete. Uh, what we can do now is take this power source and we just put it here so now you can't really see it as easily um so yeah very cool yeah i don't think anything it's not connected yet um we're gonna have to make some dense cables so i want to go ahead and do that with you guys now so we're gonna need these two to be combined together we can make four cool so this is gonna be a full stack of the dense cables and then turn them into the smarts oh yeah cool so i think i want to go ahead and actually make these purple if we can um so we got blue dye we got red dye let's go ahead and make purple there we go okay so um for one we gotta get rid of this guy as you can see none of them are lit up but once we do one of these, actually. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna temporarily move that. We're gonna put these here. Is this gonna work? Eight of eight, eight of eight, eight of eight, eight of eight. Okay. And then I believe I believe that's all we need to do. That looks really cool, actually. Seven of eight, four. Yeah, so I think I think that's all of them. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's working. Maybe it's not. Okay. Um. So we'll have to break this guy and then run a cable over. So this is the part where it gets real fun. So, actually, can we make these blue at all? Can we re-dye these? We gotta combine them with a snowball or water bucket snowball is way easier okay i'm gonna go find some snow okay found some snow a little bit away from home um oh oh hmm that's not good we need we need just a normal shovel okay there we go that's what we wanted. That's what we like to see. I'm going to keep those snow blocks just in case. We'll look, emeralds. Delicious. Good. Okay. So now we can go ahead and clear those. Why are you off? Oh, because I have the power in my hand. There you go. That's a turn back on. Good. Okay. So... We combine these together. Those look good. Do we have any cactus? Hmm. Okay, we got some green dye. I want to make these cyan. Perfect. So now we go like so. And there we go, cyan. Cool. So we're going to run this down. I think we're just going to go sh straight across. Let's see, how much are we using? 500 FE. Turn on the hover. Cool. Nope. Oh, let's get back up here. Oh! Falling down. Can't see past my microphone sometimes. Good. Now if I do this, it should freak out. 
There we go. Less freaky outy. Can you put ME controller? No, you can't. Okay. Yep, now we're good to go again. Number of items this way, good. So let's let's see about making a pattern. Or just look at some terminals. Okay, pattern encoding terminal. It's a crafting one. And me pattern access. This is the one I want. Cool. So put this guy here. We'll do one of these. Our booting device online. So now we can see all of the molecular assemblers, which is 50. We put a lot more than 50 up there. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> Maybe we need to add in a couple more. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Where did all the snowballs go? There they are. Okay, we'll make these purple again. Good. Maybe we just do this on all the sides. Okay, so all the sides are now complete. And how many do we have? 58. Huh. Somehow we're missing a few. That's fine. How did you get up there? You son of a turkey. Anything good? Nope. You die. Nice. Death. Okay, but that's a, a decent amount. Um, yeah, so we can... We can continue with that. So now what we get to do is a pattern terminal. Woohoo. Okay. So, um, maybe pattern encoding terminal. I believe this is what we need. So we need to create another one of these. There you go. There you go. All right. There's the crafting terminal and here's the pattern encoding terminal. Um, ideally, we will run this cable through this wall back here eventually. Um, yeah, yeah, we will. I have been thinking about making these solid and then running our cables through them, which is something I will probably do. And then we can have all the cables just kind of run up into the ceiling. I think they look really cool. So, but anyway, we got this guy. We need, well, we need to connect it real quick. Hmm. Okay, so this is how we have it set up. I temporarily have it running uh, back here and down the back just because it was playing hard to get. So made a couple cable facades and now we are rocking and rolling. So we have uh, all of our molecular assemblers and over here we have our, um, our pattern terminal. Um, so we need to go ahead and make a couple of patterns. Blank patterns here. Uh, yeah, we should be able to. Yeah, that's a decent amount of them. Perfect. Cool. So now we can set up things to automate. Um, so uh, for one, we can go ahead. Um, let's see. We can set up uh, ME cables. So we can say, oops, we can say that we want these. Boom. Um, and then to make these, we need these guys, right? Hit R on this. We need this. Uh, it doesn't need to be substitutions are there. Don't use fluids. So this will allow any kind of wool in here, but we actually want to go ahead and specify that we want it to be white wool just in case. And then we can set this guy up and then we can set this guy up. And so now we can throw these into the molecular assembler. Now I always try to have 
like if you have like a recipe line always have them in different molecular assemblers because this is a molecular assembler this is one this is one this is one so I always have it so that one of these can work on just this one of these can work on just this and yeah like they only have to worry about one it's kind of like an assembly line um so I always try to do that again there's some recipes that just won't allow that to happen uh, and that's totally that's totally okay um or sometimes you just you run out of room that's fine as well so now um we need to see do we have okay we have a couple of these 1ks so uses we want to go up to 4k okay so that's good recipe here so we can set that up to be auto crafted now again because it's not in the same recipe line we can go ahead and do that so then uses then we want 16k all right 16k and then we hit uses then 64k and then uses 256k uses Yeah, that's it. So then we do one of these. Obviously with these guys, there's just gonna be way more steps um, that we just don't have, but uh, we do need to make a couple of 4Ks. So 4K, oops, recipe. Okay. Can we even make a 16K? We're out of glowstone, huh? Huh. Let me run to the nether real quick. Get some more glowstone. Okay, so decent amount of glowstone available. So that should mean that we can make a few of these. Ooh, we can make a 64K. All right, this is my first 64K, which is awesome. Uh, but now I want to go ahead and combine it with a crafting unit. And this will now be our crafting storage. So I should be able to put it right here. Network booting, device online, perfect. Let's see, if we go to 1K here, oh, that's 16K, 82. I don't think I made a recipe for 1Ks. Okay, so we're just gonna do one of these, <laughs> move it down. So now if I type in 1K, there it is. See, yeah, so logic processors, we don't nearly have enough. And that's okay. But the cool thing is now we can go say 60, 64K and this will tell us all that we need to figure out. So actually you don't even need that many logic processors to make a 64K. That's kind of cool. Service quartz, lots of service quartz. But cool, okay. So we can now craft things. <laughs> um. So let's get the logic going. We'll get the silicone going as well. And we can get the redstone in here. But we're gonna make a couple of 64Ks and start upgrading our storage a bit so that we have some room. Yeah, we did good. Okay, so we have the next part here. As you can see, the furnaces are missing. And that is because over here, we're gonna be putting all of these guys. So what we wanna go ahead and do is place some ME um, pattern providers up here. And then on the bottom, we are going to put in ME importers. And we're gonna connect these up with blue cables to here. And we'll do the same for this one. All right, these should all be online. Yep, we've got 10 devices currently online, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna throw all of these back in. Boom, so now these all have power. These are technically all automated. So if we look here, we can see diamond furnaces and obsidian furnaces down here at the bottom. Very cool, okay. So in order to do um, patterns for uh, a furnace, you have to switch over to processing patterns. Um, and so essentially it just says if if we give uh, the machine that this is attached to one of these items over here, it will give us this item. So for example, uh, oh no, we don't wanna do that much glass. Um, so say we wanna make smit or smelt the glass, we need to find some sand. Do I have any sand? 
I don't actually have any sand. Oh. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, so we say one sand gives us one glass. And this should create the pad. Oh, we gotta put it we gotta put it in the spot where the hammer's at. Boom. Then we can do this. So I'm gonna give these to all of the diamond furnaces so that these guys can run wild. And so now if we type in glass, we can middle click and say, let's make 30 glass. Boom, if we look over here, these are smelting up glass. And as you can see, it's automatically getting pulled out by these ME importers because um, they import into the system and we are good to go. So yeah, very cool. These are all going. And then the obsidian furnaces we can do something else with. Um, see, how many channels on this are we using? 10 of 32, perfect. Because now we're gonna do alloy smelters. We're gonna automate these bad boys. And we're gonna just put these right here. We can do the same thing. So we have the import buses here. Um, and I think I'm just going to run this cable here like we did on the other side. Okay, we'll mine this block. And then we can just run this down. The cool thing is, is I discovered that glass actually will connect to these cable facades, which is really, really cool. Um, I did not know that that was a thing, so it's going to look... Like it won't look too terrible from the the back side, which is awesome. Um, we can do this too. I think we'll leave kind of the cable exposed. I might just cover this all with the deep slate. So it kind of looks like this all the way across the top. Um, yeah, like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good better than it did before and then just like we could just fill the roof in kind of just bring it across or something like that or put bring the wood down one I think it actually look really good it would give it more of a variety but yeah so let's go ahead I got a couple more pattern providers here so we can go bing 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 and here here and here now we can put that cable facade on the back and then we'll go here 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 and we can sneak this cable facade here. I'm gonna do that over here as well. Boom, like so. So these guys should be online. Yep, all online, device online, device online. So if we look here, we've got 16 to 32 channels used. So we should be able to get some other stuff here. Uh, I also took this blue cable on the left-hand side so that we have four more channels we can run. Um, which I think is going to be great. But now this side is automated. Um, yeah, so the patterns are very similar. But now actually we can just set these to be alloys. Uh, alloys only. So that... Because we have the furnace to smelt things up. The furnace is automated. Um, wait, how does that work? Oh, I see. Furnace. So it shows this and then it shows their combined. That's kind of cool how this little thing changes here in the GUI. I like that. So alloys only. Good. All right. So another cool thing we're going to go ahead and show you guys real quick. So if we go to Ender IO, perfect. So vibrant stuff like this. All we have to do is do this and it will automatically create the recipe for us. Um, so yeah, energetic alloy, boom. It's very, very easy to do. Pulsating, this is for the, the, the cables. So, and then now we see the alloy smelters right here. Uh, we can just put all of these there. Um, yeah, so we can essentially do that for every single one of these dark steel. I know dark steel is gonna be important to have for Ender IO. So we'll, we'll set one of those up here. Um, and let's see, do we have enough for dark steel? We make 10 of these. We can. Cool. So I'll show you guys them working. So this one here, as you can see, boom, it's been put here. Now, the one other thing we're going to have to do 
is power, but there's something that we can try that I've wanted to test out for a while. This here, the dense ME, or the ME conduit. So we need some conduit. Okay, so we should turn this into a recipe. So here we go. Create that and molecular assembler. We'll put it on its own. And then uses like this. It should, yeah, it automatically switches over for you. So then we can do this in the obsidian furnace. So now conduit should be automated. So let's see. Oh, no crafting CPUs are available. We hit cancel on that. Conduit. Okay. So it's crafting up the conduit binder and now it should be smelting it. So if we check over here on the obsidian, yep, there we go. It's a working. We now we we can also put acceleration uh, cards here so that it'll take items faster out of there. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's make ourselves some ME conduit. I've never used this before, but I want to be able. Let's see. I want to be able to get power to this guy as well as get the connection. So we're going to try this out. Yeah, because as you can see, the power is going down, which is no good. So boom, boom, boom. Did that connect? It sure did. So now if we get an import bus. Oh, wait, it might need me to do this first. Import, import, import. Hmm. Do we have to mine this out? Hmm. Okay, let's try the dense one. Because otherwise, I think we might be hosed. <laughs> hmm. Does the dense cable even connect? Okay, interesting. Maybe it's just to run the cable next to it instead of in sync with it, which is a bummer. Okay, so for now, this is, I guess, the best we can do. Um, I don't even know if it's pulling out of here on the sides. But this is slowly going up. Um, yeah, so I guess we, we, we technically have them automated, which is really good. Uh, we'll have to worry about doing all the other stuff later. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy that, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.